Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a safe and productive week. All right, today we're going to do a review on the Festool FS2 guide rail set, which I've been playing with, and I actually brought it to my shop to cut some plywood for the top of these metal bins. We finally fixed our um, roof for the second floor joist that cracked on me. We finally got it to jack up. We put a wall in and then I had to put some plywood on the wall and then we bought metal shelves because I used to have one of those Home Depot shelves and it stuck really far out. So I bought um, a smaller shelf that holds like 10,000 pounds but it comes with wire from Home Depot and that's a pain in the neck for bins so I cut some plywood. It works pretty good. So I want to go over because you get a, a lot of extra toys in here. So the first thing I want to show is the guide, the edge guide that you get with your MFT table. You can buy it separately to go on any of your Festool rails. And this was the older one, the one that actually went on to the center hole you locked it down here and your cord was supposed to ride here and your hose rode here so cord and hose I I didn't lock it down all the way I just wanted to actually here I'll lock it down it, you could do a thumb or a screwdriver but your cord always got stuck here I know what they did with me. So what they did is, I guess a lot of people complained about it, and they made a new guide. So now this actually goes over the channel. So now your cord will not get stuck in the channel. So now you have all of this for the hose and this for your cord. Pretty cool. Pretty cool idea. So that's the old one. That was the one that actually was on. So I got to redo all of my edging. Um, the edging on that I took off. The edging on this is coming off. I got a 55 over there that it's coming off. Okay, now let's just say you want to add this 800 to a 1500. Well, you used to have those older connectors. <coughs> well, they just came out with a new set of connectors. And as you can see, both of them are different, opposed to the other ones where they were the same. There's a one and a two. There is actually a picture on the, on the connector where they go. Let me find it. Laser etched in. So this one here, number one, goes on the bottom. So this one on the bottom right here. Oh, and there's lines on them that give you the halfway point. See? There's lines on them. So I don't know if you remember with the older rail, you used to have to put them in, the connectors, you just have to put it in and then you would line up the saw so that these two were together. Now with the with this with these grooves, these offset grooves cut in here, and that when you tighten it up it waves and it makes both connect both rails connect perfectly. And then this just is the stabilizer. So get it you get it into the line. And then you tighten it up with a supply. I don't use it, I use my own. But you get a hex with a three millimeter Allen. And then you would tighten up your three millimeter here. And then this one, you go with the picture, goes on the top. And then again, three millimeter, you tighten it up. But we don't have to connect rails together, so 
But these are cool. I actually bought these because my, and you remember the other ones? They were screw dry. They were, they were regular or, or slotted screws. And I got them when someone gave them to me that, but in my Festool story. So that's, I mean, they go, God, I can't even tell you how old they are. And they lasted many years. And I, um, when I went to Woodcraft, I said, look, I need more. I don't want to put the screws in there. They're like, oh, we got these new ones. And they showed them to me. And then I got a second set here in um, this um, FS2. Okay, you know you get two screw clamps. And then you get this guard stop. But I don't know if you people know about this. If you look at the guard stop, you see this little recess, this little protruding piece? Well, if you're... Let's just say, let me just get this in the right position and get this apart so I can actually, I don't want to turn on the trigger. So here is your, now you're going to put this through, come on, there we go. Okay, you tighten it down. So if you were going to do a plunge cut, go boom, you have some place to stop. But I don't know if you guys realized it, but this, and it fold off. This here, I gotta get a good get a grip on this. This here, I'm gonna put it on my head. You see the little piece here? It locks into this. So if you're doing a horizontal cut, let's just say you go cut like that. You have this mounted up on the wall, and your saw is in here. Well, when you start it, it could jump back as you're plunging. That is actually holding the back of the saw from coming up. I was looking at this thing, and I said, damn, I go, this, this is something... And I looked it up, and I went, I went on in Festool Sedge. Uh, I found it finally on his video, and that's what it's for. So besides like a stop, like you'd put it this way, and you'd run your saw, you'd make a measurement, like just say you're going to plunge it, and then go to a certain, you're going to do just a, a, a plunge cut from here to there. Well, that's a stop. But it also is to prevent the saw, back of the saw from pulling out if you're doing a vertical cut. Just like I, like I said, German tool manufacturers. All right, so now you got the guide ring. You got the actual, the guide. So, what do you, how it goes together. You have this little T-slot right here. Then you have these clamps right here. And basically, you're going to catch it on the first rail, guide this in, to the second rail. Come on. Why are we being a nudge now? Oh, being a nudge is because I forgot to tell you to open this. Because if you don't open this, how stupid. If you don't open this, the guard rail hits this, and, and you're sitting there trying to push it in. So yeah, you have to op open this flap up. Open this up. And then, like gentlemen, it'll slide in. Then you hook it to the first, you hook it right here to this end one. Now, there's pre-made detents both left and right, which go from 15, 22 and a half, 30, 45, and 60 degrees. So if you loosen that, you'll have a detent at each one, including zero. Now, your clamp, you could do a few, you could do something really cool with this clamp. Now, of course, this is for a different table, and of course, I'm using this uh, guide rail when you have 
the MFT table. That's <laughs> pretty silly when you use that, but this is for demonstration purposes only. You put the clamp down here and you see it sits into a recess. So you can actually, and I'll get this on here. So you can clamp that now at, yeah, I think. You can clamp that and now you're at your cut line. And it goes right down the rail, right into that groove there. All right, let's make a cut. Let me put this stuff away. We'll make a 90 degree cut right on this piece of junk plywood. Let's play with our new, I'm too lazy to get the cordless one out. It's like sitting behind everything. Okay, let's get this in, hold on to it. There you go. Pretty crappy wood, but nice cut. Let's do, let's try 45. Boom, boom. Right, the detent. Back to 90. The, this is not fair because the way I velcroed my cords onto this, I used, I just bought velcro that ties like extension cords and I put them on so it actually knocks this over this way. So I never really got it caught. I did get it caught, but I never really got it caught after I kind of figured this out here. Okay. Voila. Now. Let's show you another cool thing. Say you're doing a really thick piece of material. Well, you have two 20 millimeter dogs on the actual housing. And you're gonna put them I'll show you you see, you loosen them. They go down the first. Losing the tumor. And now what it does is it takes this rail being around three quarters of an inch and makes it
from the bottom of the rail two and a quarter inches. So you have a half an inch, excuse me, less than a half an inch, um, to a little bit more than two and a quarter inches down. So basically, you're extending this, look at it, I'm hitting the bottom of the MFT table. I'm hitting the bottom of the MFT table. I don't know if you can see it, but you see it makes it, and you can see it on the styrofoam. See how it does it? It extends this down. Now, if you wanted to really get crazy with this thing, You could actually put it through the MFT table. And you can tighten it from the bottom. So now you have this. Now, of course, this is not supported up here because you, you have that half an inch. So you would have to do a sacrificial board here. But you can actually put it through the MFT table. Or if you just have a table with 20 millimeter holes in it, because remember, these are 20 millimeter. They're not like the Rockler ones that are three quarter inch. So you need something 20 millimeter. So let's just say this is three quarter, but you know, you would have to put a sacrificial piece there and say you wanted to do a series of 14 inch pieces where you put a sacrificial piece and you just got your 14 inch pieces right there and you can do your 45 because these are perfect in the table they are perfect to each other and then just loosen it And there they are. I couldn't do that again. And then to put them back in. They go right back in there like that. So you're gonna just put them right back They'll, they fall right into a group. Boom. There you go. That's your system. Pretty cool. Nice sustainer three. So gives you a nice new sustainer. All right. All right, YouTube. I, um... I hope you enjoyed the video. My uh, email will be in the description below if you have a question. Um, email me. Um, I'm going to be starting a Patreon channel just to help support the channel. Um, just for material and stuff like that. I don't know when I'll be activating it, but I'll let you know. Um, but that's it. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for all of the likes the questions the comments the subscribes again from the bottom of my heart my family we love you it's it's really 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 touching um and i'm very happy uh with my followers so you all be safe out there and i'll see you on the next video oh and model number price everything will be in the description below all righty all right youtube be safe out there bye bye